I'm Massimo Varini and I'm here for Two Fire for these five free lessons talking about a pop guitar. I have done a big course for Two Fire that is called a Pop Guitar Survival Guide and I would like to talk to you and about some aspects that I have worked on in, uh, in the course. The first aspect is uh, strumming and the, the three examples that I, I have just played uh, are about playing with or without the drums and push a groove that works as a drum. So, uh, the drummer can play like tum tum da so, uh, work with the bass drum and the snare, and the bass drum is like tum tum and the snare. Tum tum. And sometimes we need to put this kind of groove in our playing uh, with or without the drums. If you are playing alone with a with a singer, you can uh, put this kind of uh, groove and beat uh, in your playing. I think that the groove is the most one of the most important aspect, uh, not only for pop guitar but for all the, the instruments in every kind of music. So, what I can play in this tum tum is muting the strings uh, that uh, are playing with the bass drum and open the strings uh, with I play like a snare. So it's like one. So the snare is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I would like to show you closely. Is this is a like a brushing upstroke. This is open. I move my palm on the strings. Until I can obtain this kind of sound, okay, is um. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I will play two or three strings with the root in the bass. So it's E minor, C, G. D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or I can do the opposite. So, playing the open string on the bass drum and mute the strings when I, when the drummer hits the snare. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is uh, all muted, but I can play like. Play, uh, I can put more dynamic on my playing, so it's like one. Look closely. If so, I hit strike the strings very fast during my mute, and with the left hand, just to be sure that no strings are playing. Okay. So one. It's very important to have this uh, this sound that is has to be very short and very clear. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. 
and this works also with a faster uh, BPM beat per minute so it's like I will accelerate So the two hands work, uh, are working together to obtain this kind of sound. It is like, okay. So as I said in the course, thinking sixteenth. So your hands has to be very passing quickly through the strings. One, two, three, four. Look at the right hand. Okay, first you can try with this sound, yes, slowly, one, two, three, four, closely, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, chords. So, we play very fast. And you can use your your way to put the dynamic on it. Okay, I, I love to to put an accent before the sixteenth that I uh, I'm going to mute. But you can do in any kind you want. Like. The opposite is. So I mute on the 1 and 3 and I open the sound on 2 and 4 where the drummer would put the snare. Opposite. Or well, I can play a very uh, short like this. This is the work of the right hand, okay? Look at this one. Okay. So, I think that it's, it's very important to uh, work on the groove and on the sound that uh, we can obtain from uh, our guitar this kind of uh, uh, groove works better on the acoustic than on electric but uh, you can try with both guitar and so I hope to, this can help you and I will hear, I'm here waiting for you sorry for my English but nobody's perfect, I'm Italian and ciao ciao